So this is a part one of a series of tutorials on how to set up and play Pandemic, a supplementary to the rulebook. So opening up the box, go through the contents really quick. We have the rulebook, you know, for future reference, um, but in general, set up the board. And in, what else is in the box is a number of cards with uh, different backings, okay? Some have a medical symbol backing, some have this green backing. There are a number of cards that say roll, and then there's a number of these reference, uh, reference cards. So these are Good reference for later. Okay, they uh, talk about the actions and such, uh, but that will be in another video. This one is specifically on how to set up the game. So the first thing to do is take all the roll cards and randomly distribute them amongst the players. Okay. Uh, and there will also be a specific video explaining the different roles within the game. So I, in this game, I will set up for four players, okay, and this much. All right, so in this game, it's going to have the dispatcher, the scientist, the operations expert, and the medic. Okay. The next thing, so I distribute those each to a separate player. Also in the uh, box is a number of pawns corresponding to different uh, to the different roles that can be played. So the dispatcher is purple, the operations expert is green, the scientist is white, and the medic is orange, which is really not an orange. Um, they have this red instead. So for all the players, I start them off in Atlanta. That's because that's where the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, is located. The other thing that I place in Atlanta is a research station. So the research station are these wooden houses. So I place one there. Um, I also have one more baggie that has this circular disc. Okay. And that goes on the infection rate at the lowest ranking at 2. And I have the outbreak marker. And that goes on the position of 0. Okay. Then I have these vials which correspond to the different cures. Okay. Um, as I haven't developed any cures yet in the game, I just leave them off to the side right there. The next thing I do is I take the infection deck, which is this green one. You can tell which one they are because the, um, the city is horizontal. I mean, the card is horizontal, has a city name, the country, and it has this um, disease symbol along with the color. Okay, So I'm going to shuffle these. Okay. And then I'm going to deal out three sets of three. Buenos Aires, Los Angeles, Johannesburg, Taipei, Bangkok, Miami, Montreal, Kinshasa, and Beijing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to establish the initial disease spread. So first off, diseases are represented by these cubes. So each cube represents a selection of the population that is infected. Okay. In terms of where I initially place them, I'm going to place three of the corresponding color in this row. I'm going to place two of the corresponding color in this row, and then one of the corresponding color in this row. So I need a lot of yellow. I'm going to put three, and I'm going to move these as 
If need be, three yellows in Buenos Aires. I'm going to place three yellow in LA, and then three yellow in Johannesburg. Okay. My next row is Taipei, Bangkok, and Miami. I have the yellow out, so I might as well put two in Miami. I'll put two in Taipei and Bangkok in a moment, but I have one more yellow that, but this one as the top row only has one, so I'm only going to put one in Kinshasa. And then I place those ones to the side. I have two piles for the infection. I have the infection deck pile, and I have the infection discard. So the ones I'm done setting up, I put in the infection discard. Okay, I need to put a single blue in Montreal. And then I need to put a uh, two reds in Taipei and two reds in Bangkok. Now I have my initial pile set up for my different diseases. I take the remainder of the uh, infection pile and place it right there. Okay. The next step is to take my player deck, okay, the ones with the blue back, and I remove all of the epidemic cards. So there are these big green cards like this. Take out all of those first. Okay, there should be six total. I take the remaining cards, shuffle them up. And according to how many players I have, I deal out a number of cards. If I have four players, I deal out two cards each. If I have three players, I deal out three cards each. And if I have two players, I deal out four cards each. In this case, I have, uh, I have four players, so I give two to there, two to there, two to there, and two to there. Depending upon the difficulty level and whether or not this is the first or second time playing, these cards will either be public or private. We'll assume that this is the first time playing, so these cards are considered public knowledge and will be placed face up for everybody to see. With the epidemic cards, these big green ones, these decide how difficult the game's going to be. On the first game, I'm going to do it on an easy setting. That means four epidemics. On a second game, I'm going to do it on the normal setting with five epidemics. Um, and if after a while, I might go up to a s six epidemics for a hard setting. But again, this is the easy setting. We'll just do four. So I make four piles. And I take the remainder of the player deck and distribute the cards evenly. What this is going to allow to do is going to make it so that these epidemic cards are slightly spaced out, so they're not really close together. Now there might be two epidemics which are close together, but in this case, um, you know, that would just be luck in that, in that case. Okay. So after all our equally distributed. I take each individual pile, uh, do a light shuffle of each. And place it on through the player deck right here. As soon as they are all shuffled within their individual piles, I'm ready to start playing the game. 